So what is up guys? Paradox here. It's another video. But today I'm actually gonna make a fast video. I just I'm gonna try to fly this as fast as I can. Make it as useful as I can get it. Alright, so so today we're gonna we're gonna be focusing on on crafting bullets. Alright, so so lead, steel, um we're gonna need some acid as well. Um no, we gotta get all we gotta get those three main ingredients and then we can craft as many bullets as we can get. Alright, so first we're gonna deal we're gonna we're gonna talk about the beginning things that you need all right so if you want to be able to craft the most bullets possible all right it really depends on perk cards if you're low level you might not get all these but this is what you need to get like to work forward all right so here so this is what you need all right it's an agility it's called ammo smith right this this is probably going to be the easiest one for you beginners to just start out and get okay so if you can start working towards ammo smith to just get it i right? get it as fast as you can i think you get it around i want to say before 30 but I don't don't quote me on that i might put it on the screen all right um uh let's see what, what else you need luck you need three three perk cards to get super duper right super duper basically has the chance to double anything you craft right i know it says 30 percent, but trust stuff. me it triggers and it's a lot just more useful when why? you have it on all right so Remember that super duper ammo smith or yeah ammo smith and that's the basic needs for uh crafting as much ammo as you can now if you're a little bit higher you know uh i think it's 50 75 100 150 you can start working towards legendary perk cards right legendary perk uh legendary perk cards are are very important the first one you want to get is ammo factory right so let me see Finally, if i can in a nice day there. Okay, so the first one you get 50% more rounds when crafting. The second one you get 75% more rounds when crafting. The third one is 100, and the fourth is 150, right? So this is also going to be another very important thing to craft as much if ammo you as you can, right? So I'm going to put them all on the screen right now gift. so you know exactly if what you need, right? So let's go over it really fast. Number one, please. ammo smith, your right? Go. Ammo Customer smith. You're going to need ammo smith. Help. Uh, maxed out, right? 80% more. Number two, if you can, right? It's in luck. It's called super duper. All right. Uh, I'll put on the screen what uh, what level you need in order to unlock it. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit on the higher side. So uh, just you know what you're working for, right? So super duper. Then after super duper, you're gonna focus on things like ammo factory, as much as you can get, right? And if you want, if you need to know how to upgrade Ammo Factory, the only way is by getting these little points right here in the bottom right corner. And in order to get those points, you have to uh, grab some stuff down. So let's home, homeboy, right? So it pops up. It tells you to scrap, right? You click F, whatever you're using. It's on the bottom of the screen or right underneath the perk card. And it tells you to scrap for two perk points. Those perk points is what you use to upgrade your legendary perk point right so now we got all, all that out the way right so now you got the basics and if you can't get all of that just get as much as you can all right it's always better to craft your own ammo because uh you know less caps you know you, you get that grindy experience everybody wants the grindy experience you know now we got to focus on lead steel and acid okay so this is going to be the fastest way okay i'm not going to tell you to jump around mm, and go to gym to gym to gym yada 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 right so let's let's do this step by step we're gonna start off with lead all right the best way to get lead is by going to the lucky hole mine okay it's down here to the right of of where, where we at so we got fallout i mean you got vault 76 here straight down to the right straight down to the right almost in the almost in the cranberry bog but not in the cranberry bog to the left of Watoga. Okay, so you know where this is. To the left of Watoga. A little bit to the left downside of Fort Defiance. Right? There's a mine called Lucky Hole Mine. You know, take your time. Look at this. Uh, mark it. Waypoint it. However you need to get that done. Okay? But here's the thing. Alright? So I'm, I'm going to go there. But I'm going I'm to do a little short run through right now. Alright? I want to make this video fast and efficient. So I'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, once you spawn in, I'm not I'm not gonna take you through the whole entire mine because I don't 
Because, you know, you, you get the uh, experience yourself. But once you spawn in, you're going to want to run straight out. Right? So, like I said, Watoga, right there to my right. Right? Let's let's get inside. We're going to skip across all these guys. We're going to go straight inside. All right, once you're inside, what, what, what do I have a baseball bat in my hand? Okay, we're just gonna go with it. All right, we're, we're gonna start swinging everybody. A new sacrifice comes. You cannot escape the divine life. All right. More will come. Good enough. Oh my God, give me a second. I regret nothing. All right. So once you spawn in, okay, this is what you're gonna be looking for, right? We're gonna be collecting lead ore. Okay, this is the best way. To collect lead ore. Okay, if you can get a lead extract, go right on. But this is the best way to collect lead ore. You run down to the mine. You're going to stop. And you're going to look on all the walls. This is crystal one, right? There's crystal in here as well. But I, this is about lead. So let's just focus on lead, right? We're going to be looking inside these little cave things right here. There's not going to be nothing in the first one. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, and they're gonna be oh, great in the man. right here. Look this. Subjects oh my! I don't even have anything. Give me a second. From harm. Okay, I'm back. I just killed the first few guys in this little area here. All right, but this is the best way, right, to collect all the lead. Just go in, look to your right. I know not a lot of people know about the lucky home. Pick up all the lead ores on the wall, right? Now. It is very important to get the excavator suit because the excavator suit has a chance of multiplying it. I think it's by four, right? So let me show you guys a little me. I mean, you can still do it without the excavator suit if you don't have it, but you just get level 25, right? Let's get inside the excavator suit. Right. Trying to make sure I don't miss on any important info. All right, so we're inside the lucky hole mine. Run straight through. So you get to this little opening. Where you want to go inside of all of the uh, little little hole, little cave, little mini caves inside the wall. You want to pick them all up. All right, so I'm getting four out of each one. All right. So we're just going to pick up a little bit. Not too much. I'm just going to quickly do this. I don't need that much. I need to craft it. And it's all throughout this cave. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to show you guys the whole way down. There's there's going to be more in there. All right, you run running. Make sure you're checking all of the walls. Everything around. Prepare for judgment. Oh, yeah. The holy land. Make sure you're still checking the walls because you're all right here. And be careful with what you're picking up because there's going to be crystal mines around here as well. I mean, unless you need crystal, I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, then you take either right or left. You can go through this mine as thorough as you can, right? And and this is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're low level because they're all even out with what level you are. I could kill these guys a lot faster, but recently I had I had put on like a melee build to mess around in the game. So we're just gonna go with it. Alright, so after you get rid of everybody here. <laughs> Just keep going through. Keep going through the mine, all right? Just just keep going. Keep looking on all the walls, right? There, there's going to be a lot here. You got crystals here. You got more more crystals. You got lead all throughout this whole entire thing, all right? So that's, that's how you collect the lead, all right? So I don't want to spend too much time in here because we don't have to. As long as you understand to go through this mine with an excavator suit or, or without, it doesn't really matter. You know, uh, it's just how efficient you want to be. If you want to be more efficient, you're going to have to use the exhibit, right? And let's, let's go. Now we need steel. Okay. Uh, 
feel is I don't want to say hard to get, but when you get a higher level, it becomes an issue because you're going to need it more to craft a lot of ammo, right? But I'd say the best way to collect as much steel as you can is by going to places with a lot of enemies. Okay, if you go to places with a lot of enemies and, and you grab all of their guns, you pick up all of their weapons, and scrap it, you're going to be collecting a lot. All right, so first we're going to start somewhere that has a, a, a low level, right? And, and anybody can go. I'm gonna go to Morgantown Airport. All right, I'll be back. All right. So as soon as you get here, you're gonna wanna run all the way to the back of Morgantown. Okay. So I'm just gonna skip everything and I'm just gonna go straight over there. I'm gonna show you the way, just in case you don't know. Kill all these guys and pick up all their weapons as well. Now you're going to be leaving here heavy. Alright, expect to leave here heavy. But don't worry because there's a scrap station. There's a few actually. One inside here, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Wait, it's one, it's one of these. I think it's the one back there. But I know there's a, a chemistry station straight to the right. One of these buildings. The... You could probably find one in each of the buildings. But if you, definitely, if you look around and loot around, you're going to be finding these things like it's nothing, right? So it's right here. Or you have your scrap station right here. Okay. Right here is... That's the collision course. The event. The building is right there next to it. Now, it doesn't really have a name, but I'm letting you look at it so you know where exactly it is. Right? In order to start this event, you just come and you shoot this mortar. Right? I can't start it right now because somebody started it before. But I'll... Later on, I get when it, when I'm able to start it back up, I'll give you a little uh, example right here. All right, but that's one way. Pick up all the weapons, scrap it all right there. All right, that's a good amount of steel. All right now, if you're gonna need more, everybody needs more. You can also go to a place called West Tech Research Center. Okay, now a frick ton of super mutants spawn here. If you kill all the super mutants, pick up everything on them and then scrap it you're leaving with a decent amount of steel i promise you right here don't forget to have a uh, scrapper on you obtain more components when you scrap weapons and armor all right so let's go let's do i'm gonna do a quick run through here and i'm gonna show you how much steel i get Okay, now I think I've killed everybody. Oh my, if this happens one more time. Okay, just die, just die, just please, thank you. Pick up everything. Oh my Jesus. Okay, let's get out of the freaking power armor, okay? I just needed to walk through here, but... God, alright, so now... Let's actually start scrapping everything. Okay, so let's see how much steel I have now. Actually, I'm gonna drop how much steel so we see how much we get at the end. I actually have any steel on me. I have 15 steel scrap. All right, let's just drop it. Let's scrap all of these weapons that I've just collected. All right, see how much we get. Okay, well, I'm back, and out of that, so just that one run by itself, I got 569. Oh, okay. Well, and that's not even scrapping down the uh, rest of the stuff that I've randomly picked up right here. 
grab all junk. About 60. Alright, not that bad. 15 from earlier. Alright, so now, acid. Now, I'm going to link a video in the top right. You can go and watch that video. But just to speed things up, I'm going to show you how to get acid the fastest way right now. It should take no longer than, what? You need to show you like five minutes and you can do it for how long you want and get thousands, right? So, I'll be back. Okay. This is where you're going to want to go. You're going to want to go to a place called Tanangra Town. It is right here on the map. On the right side of the map. Right above the Cranberry Bog. You go straight up. Over here by the abandoned waste dump and Harper's Ferry, straight to the right. Open space. Alright, so I'm gonna go there and and uh I'm gonna show you guys how to get acid the fastest way. <clears throat> Alright. So, same as the other video, if you want to go watch it, you get a full run through. But I'm going to show you really quick. You spawn in, and you want to go up the tower. Well, not the tower, but up the tree, right? The tree right here, as fast as you can. All right, so I'm going to skip to when I get up there, all right? All right, so once you get up here, this is going to be the fastest way to collect as much acid as you want. All right, so obviously, I'm not going to do that much damage to these freaking crickets, but I'm going to try to kill at least one. Actually, that is I expect. Okay, I'm gonna kill them all and then I'll be back. Okay, they're pretty much all dead, right? So you want to come over here and pick up all their acid. You all drop acid, so basically free acid. Okay, pick up all the acid. Right, I, I mean, I didn't get, you know, I'm not going to get like a hundred, you know, but I got a decent amount. All right. All you have to do is server hop. I got 52 out of that. So what you're going to do, want to do is kill all the crickets here, pick up all the acid, leave the server, join a new one, do it again. Right. You just keep doing that over and over again. And I, I bet you in about 10 minutes, you'd have over 500. Right. It matters on how fast your computer is and all that. But if you here, if you have a decent a decent computer, it doesn't take that long to load back in a match, right? So now let's actually get to to uh, the good stuff, the actual ammo, right? So let's start let's start crafting some ammo. I'm gonna go back to my base and we're gonna do this together. All right. Once you have everything down, once you've collected your lead, your steel, your acid. You're pretty much set. Now, I didn't spend time to collect thousands of each, right? I only put it in a little bit just so I can collect it and craft it so I can show you guys. But we're going to take it step by step. So first, we're going to make sure that we have all the right perk cards on, okay? So let me take off Ninja. So we need Ammo Smith, right? Very first one that you're going to need. You're also going to need Super Duper. Craft Double. You don't need scrapper anymore, but if you want, you can use chemist. I don't think it makes a difference in your lead, but hold, let me let me check. No, it, it doesn't make a difference. I can still I can still smelt down what five from one, and then we have. Yeah, it's still five. So there you go. That answers your question. If you think it doubles, it doesn't. All right. So this is where you get your lead from, right? So you get the lead ore, right? I have 122. I literally think I just picked that up. And then I have 800 acid because I've done that multiple times. I just don't have the space to carry more. All right. So you sit here and you just, you just smelt it down, right? You use the acid you collected and the lead ore you collect. I think I'm going to do all hundred, right? And we're going to see how much lead we end up with, right? Now, this is going to be a lot of lead because... Remember that I also have Super Duper activated, which has a chance of doubling it, right? And doubling it makes it 10, right? So we're going to be set. I'm not going to need lead. When you see it pop up in the top, in the top mid left right there, that means that it's activating, right? Now, it's not going to show, you know, 30 times over, but I just crafted a 
amount of lead, right? Now let's look at how much lead I have, right? So I have 388 lead. Alright, that is the fastest way to collect as much lead as you want. I can do this. I can go and collect. I can actually go to the Lucky Hole Mine and collect all the ore. And you're going to be leaving with about, I think, almost 300, right? That's a lot of lead. I couldn't need more lead than that. Okay. Now let's actually let's actually start crafting ammo. Alright, so remember what you're going to need. Ammo Smith. Ammo Factory. Alright. Those two perk cards are going to maximize the amount of ammo you can craft. And Super Duper as well. Alright, so let's start crafting some just a random ammo. Well, not a random ammo, but one that we're going to... Alright, so... Um, I craft... If I even have any. Okay, so here. Right, Ultra Sight. Right, if you're if you're an Ultra Sight crafter, then here you go. I can craft 900 per craft, right? So, we're going to just sit here and craft that. I have a whole bunch of lead. I have a whole bunch of steel, right? I'm pretty much stacked on what I need. We're going to craft it all, right? And it leaves us at an insane amount of ammo because now we can just craft as much as we want. 21,000 might not be a lot, but if you sit there and farm all of the, the resources to do it, you're going to end up with a decent amount in in, in, in a very little amount of time. I'm saying maybe like an hour's worth of collecting and grinding and you're going to be stacked. Trust me. I'm just right? And that's nightmares. that's for that ammo. Let's say you make 5.56, five, right? I can make 90 right, per just craft. Right? We can just sit there and craft it all and see how much steel I'm eating through. That's why you're going to need as much steel as you can collect. Right? So let's see how much we have of that. Just in a few seconds there. 2005 right so as you can see this this really helps it really makes a difference right so let's let's run through this again just to make sure you guys understand what we're doing here right so step one right well you can you can do this in either step you want to but i prefer to do it in this step just because it's a little bit more easier so step one you're going to want to collect as much steel as you can get right don't make yourself overweight because you still have to go through step two and three but Step one, you collect steel. The best way to get steel, right? I'm gonna put it on the screen as I as I talk. The best way to get steel, right? You're gonna you're gonna need to do either events with with enemies that drop a lot of weapons. So collision course, uh, uranium fever, uh, manhunt. Uh, you can go to uh, West Tech. You can go to Huntsville, Huntersville. You know you can do all of those places. Collect all of their weapons, scrap it all down, get all the steel you want. All right, that is going to be the fastest way to collect steel. And and you're going to be getting a lot of XP, and who knows what else you're going to get. Legendaries, everything else, right? So that's going to be the best way for steel. Now we're going to step two. Step two is lead. The best way to collect lead, right? Now there's also other ways. Don't get me wrong. You can have a lead extractor. You can go kill a whole bunch of robots. You can do all of that. But the best way is to go to the Lucky Hole Mine. Yes, I died, but let's... I just can't Let's go to the Lucky nightmares. Hole Mine, right? The Lucky Hole Holding Mine, you're going to be collecting lead ore just that you can smelt down. Why? Obviously, it's going to require more resources, but I, the way that I have it set up is one of the best ways to collect it. Um, If you also want to collect lead, you can go around to gyms uh, and uh, schools and stuff like that and get all the dumbbells and then keep doing it over and over and over. I don't think that's going to be... Right, so that's how you get lead and steel. Now, we're going to have to focus on acid, right? Acid is Tanangra Town. That is the best way to do it. You server hop over and over and over again, and you kill all the crickets, and you collect all the acid there, okay? That is the fastest way to make ammo in Fallout 2021 right now. That's my idea on it. Now, there might be other guides, right? You can go look at whichever one's the best one, but for me, this is the best one that works. You get the most XP. You have fun doing it. It's not boring. You don't just go around, pick stuff up, and leave. You actually kill things. You actually interact with the game. And you can actually explore, too. You can find so many things there. So that is the best way to do that. Okay, and um, when you finish all that, make sure you have the right perk cards on. You get it over with, and you're set. I still have I still have a whole bunch of lead. I still have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm never running out of ammo. It's just it's just such a good way to do everything that you need to do, right? And um, that basically concludes the video. I hope you guys have... A, a great rest of your day, a great night, whatever time you're watching this. And um, hopefully the video didn't turn out that long. I've been recording for about 45 minutes, but maybe it's about 15, 20 minutes long. And um, yeah, peace.